This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast for this Wednesday, August 23rd. Mark Filman on holidays this week. I'm Charity Brown. I'm going to pull the curtain back a little bit and admit this is my third attempt at the podcast this morning. <laughs> I am hoping that I can gather my thoughts because I feel very. I don't want to say scattered, but there is a lot going on. There is so much that I would want to sh- like to share with you this morning. But to try to organize it, it's it's kind of hard without Mark <laughs> some days. <laughs> some days it's easier. Some days it's a little harder. So my thought process this morning, everything just seemed to be about the movies this morning. Everything. The galaxy of Games. We talked about National Cinema Day coming up on Sunday. I went and saw Barbie last night and even our Throwback Thursday is based on the movies. So I've been trying to figure out where to start. So let's start with last night, I guess. Last night I went to the movies, finally saw Barbie. If you have not seen this film, it is Greta Gerwig, the director of this film, deserves all the accolades and praise that has been heaped upon her. It is such a good movie. I kind of knew what to expect going in. I did because I've I've been, it's been, top of mind and and the topic of conversation for the last four weeks has been breaking records. So I have been reading things and seeing things. So I I did have an idea as to what the film was going to be about. So I wasn't surprised that way. I took my nine-year-old niece, who was surprised, unfortunately, because I think her expectation, her idea of what the film was going to be was very different. That being said, she still really enjoyed it. And I honestly loved it. Walking out of that theater, I thought, this is something I would go back and see again. And I would pay to go back and see it again. It was so well done. And I'm sorry that I waited so long to see it. But I'm jumping on the bandwagon now. Very, very good film. And I might go back to see it this weekend. Because coming up on Sunday, once again, returning to North American th- and North American cinemas, so the U.S. and Canada, taking part in National Cinema Day, where ticket prices for films will drop on Sunday to less than $5. And as Jimmy Hollywood pointed out this morning, some theaters even offering free popcorn with your attendance. So if you haven't seen Barbie, or you haven't want to see it again like me, or you, there's something else in theaters right now, Blue Beetle, which kicked Barbie out of the number one spot, uh, Oppenheimer still in theaters, and there'll be some new ones this weekend as well. You might want to keep that in mind and head out Sunday to check them out. It's one day only, and participating movie theaters in Canada include Cineplex, Imagine Cinemas, Landmark Cinemas, and Magic Lantern Theaters. Even some drive-in theaters will be participating on Sunday. So just good rule of thumb if you, if you are in doubt and want to question whether or not the theater you're attending has this deal, just call ahead. Check out their website. But National Cinema Day is back Sunday, August 27th. Now, I mentioned that it was one day only. This leads into another part of this morning because we featured this with Galaxy of Games, another film coming back for one day only to mark its 30th anniversary, Jurassic Park, 30 years old. I can't even believe it. I remember when it hit theaters and being in the Aaron Theater in Kelmelford watching it and when that T-Rex first came onto the screen, the it was the first time being in a theater feeling that that f- that thrilling, excited, maybe a bit scared <laughs> feeling that movies can really bring out in you. And to this day, Jurassic Park is still one of my favorites all time. It's one of those films, if I see it on, I'll stop and watch. Or just on a rainy afternoon, that's, that's my go-to. I'll pop in Jurassic Park or pull it up on the streaming service, because I believe it's on Netflix now, and, and watch it. But it will be back on the big screen this Friday to mark the 30th anniversary. It's just, it's, it's pretty cool. One of those movies that have just lasted. It, it has that power to just, even with the sequels after, because it spawned, what, five other movies? There's six in the series now, if you call it a series franchise, six in the franchise. But it's that first one that still still brings chills and still gets me excited to watch and, and head to the theater. So you can check it out for yourself. But it's not the only one marking a milestone this week. Also celebrating an anniversary, Dirty Dancing. You want to talk about another film that's lasted the test of time and still a favorite for many. Again, one of those films that if it's on, I can't not stop and watch it. I have to. I have to sit down or at least have it on and and watch it while it plays. I can't 
turn away from it. It turns 36. It was August 21st, 1987. Dirty Dancing hit theaters. And as I said, from that, just created this fan base. Uh, sequel, not that long ago, came from it. Um, it became a stage production. I didn't realize, because I, I was a little younger when the film came out, but it also inspired a um, TV show. Now, I know it didn't last long. Ten episodes of only one season of Dirty Dancing back in 1988. Could you imagine? I, 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 I kind of understand why it didn't make it. Because there was so much magic with the film to have it in a series. I don't know how you would do that exactly, but someone tried. And also, of course, from that film, a fantastic soundtrack. Incredible soundtrack. The soundtrack alone stayed at number one for 18 weeks. It was just, it is an incredible incredible collection of music. Bill Medley, Jennifer Warren's I've Had the Time of My Life. Chosen, it was the very last song that producers and the director listened to. They were trying to find a theme song and that was the last one they played and they went with it and rightly so. It ended up winning a Grammy and Golden Globe and Oscar for I've Had the Time of My Life. It was Dirty Dancing because of that music. Also the inspiration this week for our Throwback Thursday. So we took some of that music and now have Hungry Eyes taking on She's Like the Wind by the movie star Patrick Swayze. We couldn't use I've Had the Time of My Life. It's too obvious. <laughs> and we play that song pretty regularly already on 95.5 Hits FM. So we chose two other songs that deserve some, some hype and some attention as well. So if you'd like to vote for our Throwback Thursday, you can do that through our Facebook and Instagram pages uh, at 95.5hitsfm.ca. So looking for, I'm not even going to be upset if I lose. I gave Mark hungry eyes. I took Patrick Swayze, obviously. Uh, but if Mark gets more votes this week, I'm not going to be disappointed because, again, a great movie, but an incredible soundtrack. So looking forward to tuning in tomorrow. Play along and you'll hear hopefully your song after 8 o'clock. I don't know how you'd be disappointed either, though. So our Throwback Thursday continues. Now, within all of that movie talk, we also uh, had a chance to speak with Leanne Woodley. Now, Leanne is the organizer behind Light the Night Belleville. This is a fundraising event that began Last year, this is the second annual event this year, October 21st, in support of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada. And we spoke with Liam because all this week with Galaxy of Games, we're giving you the chance to win a pair of tickets to a wine and cheese night, which is a fundraiser leading into Light the Night. The wine and cheese night coming up Sunday, September 10th. So I wanted to really speak with Liam because I'll be honest, I didn't know a lot about this event. So we gave Liam a call to find out not only about Light the Night, but also about the wine and cheese event. Uh, I guess I'll start from the beginning. So um, my sister was in the hospital at KGH. Um, she was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia in 2021. And uh, she was being treated there. And so I would go each day and spend time with her. And we would walk the halls. And there were these posters for Light the Night. And she said, like, what, what is that? What is that? So we kept, we kept going back and looking at these posters. Anyway, so we looked it up. And Light the Night is... Um, the largest fundraising for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society of Canada. And uh, so Carol said, you know, like, well, when I'm better, we're going to do that walk. And uh, so Carol passed, she died in, in, in 2021. And so I sort of decided, well, to continue her legacy of caring and kindness and hope, um, we would start this late the night in Belleville. So um, a group of well, our family and um, a group of her friends sort of came together and um, it got Light the Night started in Belleville, and so our first event was last year. And um, we expected, like, you know, maybe like 100 people, but I bet you we had up to 350 people arrive wow. that night for Light the Night. And it's not, a, it's not a big, long, full night event. It's like a two-hour. Um, we do it down at the Belleville Lions Pavilion from about 6 till, what, 6 till 8.30. And um, there's sort of like some... It's a couple little speeches, and there's a, a little um, lantern ceremony, which is really special. So there's three different colors of lanterns. There's a red lantern uh, for people that are supporters. There's a white lantern for survivors and a yellow lantern for people that have lost someone to a blood cancer. Mm -hmm. And so they have a lantern ceremony. So um, people that are there, like, hold their lanterns if they're a supporter, and then the survivors hold their lanterns, and then, and then we do the walk. And um, last year we were fortunate we had um, a survivor, um, that spoke, and she was just unbelievable. Um, and it's, it's just, an, it's a, it's a, it sounds like it would be like a difficult night and sad, but it actually is very uplifting and very 
just very supportive, and um, it's just a really beautiful night. So they just do a little walk um, just around Zix there, and we're going to actually shorten it this year, so it's probably only about a kilometer walk. Because the real, the real thing is to come together as a group to show people in our community that we're here to support them. Um, as the blood cancer journey for families is very, very difficult, and, uh, and it's nice to know that there's support out there. And the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada, um, they offer the sort of three things that they do. That's that they support, um, they support people and families with blood cancer. They provide advocacy for those people with blood cancers, and they also... Um, that's the last thing they do. And they do also, one of the major things is they do research. So last year, we raised $62,000, which was... They that's said, incredible. Was yeah. For a small little community. And for the first do time that. doing it, that's that's incredible, yeah. Ian. Yeah. So we were, pretty, we were pretty happy and pretty surprised. But um, but what, what we'd like to do this year is try and get close to 100000 because 100000 is research grant. And so it's... At the end of all of it, they give out research grants of 100,000 to, to groups, and um, people do research on blood cancers. And the interesting thing about um, research about blood cancers and treatments and things like that is that it often impacts other types of cancers. So um, so if they find a good treatment for a blood cancer, it often would turn out to be a really good treatment for a different type of cancer. So it's anyway, it's, it's, it's really important research. And so, so really, we... we Started it to sort of honor Carol and to continue her legacy because she was um, she was just an incredible woman and everyone that knew Carol loved her like it's and it's such a, a difficult loss of you know especially for her family she has two um, two adult children um, Anna and Jack who are just incredible and but the loss is, is really difficult of it's, course it's hard for all of us you know? absolutely so light the night this funny. year is coming up October twenty first. And yep. you, you've shared the goal you want to reach. To help get you to that goal, there are some other events, uh, a couple of other events leading up to it. The first being a wine and cheese night on September 10th. Tell us about that evening. So that evening, we've been so fortunate because um, the county wineries have been so um, generous. It's just been unbelievable. We are so impressed. So we have, uh, have all kinds of wine that's donated. Also, Mapledale Cheese, they've, um, they're donating um, all of the cheese for the event. And um, Cobb's, Cobb's Bakery, they're donating um, the bread for the event. Uh, so we're just, we're just overwhelmed by the response of our community to be supportive of this. And um, it's going to be kind of a fun night at the local. And we have, we have lots planned, and we're going to have little glasses. Each person will get a little takeaway glass. And... Um, we have a person that started doing all the research and getting information from the wineries so that we can talk a little bit about all the wines and <laughs> talk about the pairings with the, with the cheese. So I think it's going to be um, a really great night. Uh, it's only $50, and that just includes, like, that's all you pay. Like, you don't, like, pay then for each of your tastings. Like, $50, is the, uh, you come for the evening and enjoy the wine and cheese. And we also have chocolate donated from the Mimi. They oh, are wow. donating, um, yeah, they're donating uh, truffles. Chocolate, event, cheese, so. and wine. My goodness, yeah, Ian. It, it doesn't get any better than no, that. No, it doesn't. So. <laughs> so it should be a really a really fun night, I think. We've got only 90 tickets, so um, I think they'll go really fast, and uh, we're, we're really looking forward to the tonight of the 10th, because it'll just be, I think it'll be a really nice um, coming together, and um, there'll be some. There'll be a little bit of silent auction there. There'll be some door prizes, um, and uh, and a 50-50, of course, just to, to help raise a little bit more money, but it's I think it'll be a, a really great night. So whoever wins those tickets, I think, is in for a really, a really fun time. It sounds like it. If if they aren't lucky enough to win the tickets, though, how easy is it for them to get tickets? Um, so we have a website, um, and we'll. I think you have the information on your website to to get tickets. Mm-hmm. Um, and so if you go to your go to your website and go onto our website, the tickets are right there. And um, we're also all over Facebook, and so hopefully they'll find them that way. So it's, um, yeah, it's, that's probably, or they can go to my Facebook, um, Leanne Woodley, and I've got the tickets up there as well. So, and we're on Instagram as well, so they can find the tickets. And this, the money raised, of course, again, from uh, the Wine and Cheese Night going to Light the Night, again, October 21st here in Belleville. Did we miss anything, Leanne? Is there anything more 
you'd like to share? Because um, we're going to touch well, base with you again. We're going to talk to you again before the before the twenty first. Because I want to. This is this sounds like such an incredible event, and it's so it's such an important event. As you pointed, it's it's good to get these get people together, supporters, uh, family, and and people who are battling leukemia and lymph nodes oh, yeah. as well. It gives them an outlet. It gives them some place to go. So we will touch base with you again. But what what more do you want people to know about this event? Well, we are doing other fundraisers too. We're having happy hour at um, at Capers on September the thirtieth. We're um, we're doing another event, um, Centler, which is a luxury brand outerwear. is coming to the county in um, September the twenty eighth, and they're going to be um, they're, they're going to be raising money for Light Night as well. So they're going to be donating from the sales of these coats to. So like the night, sort of the uh, actual event is at Eno Gallery, and Huff Estates is providing the wine for that. So there's really what I'll say is that this is a community event, and we're so we're so proud and so thankful for our community um, in helping us raise the money. Like people are just, have just been so generous. Um, Boston Pizza, they're all we're also having a night there where people can come and if they um, have dinner there, some of the funds will go to to like the night as well. So all kinds of things that we're doing. We'll have a silent auction starting in October. And again, all of those things don't, are donated from people in our community. So it's, it really is quite spectacular and we can't, couldn't be more grateful. Light the Night, Belleville, uh, returning October 21st, the wine and cheese event at the local social house here in Belleville as well, Sunday, September 10th. Win tickets with our Galaxy of Games this week and follow along with Light the Night, Belleville on Facebook. Leanne Woodley joining us this morning. Thanks so much, Leanne. Hey, thanks so much, Charity. I really appreciate your support. And we will check in with Leanne again closer to the event. Again, late the night, October 21st. And listen tomorrow for your chance to qualify to win those tickets to the Wine and Cheese event, Sunday, September 10th. Now, within all of the movie talk and... Uh, light the night wine and cheese talk we also slipped in a couple of taylor swift songs and our summer of fun adventure series wrapping up with adventure number six our taylor swift ticket wicket we have four pairs of taylor swift tickets to give away tuesday september 5th to qualify you just have to listen to 95.5 hits fm and when you hear taylor played that's your cue you'll have nine minutes and 55 seconds our ticket wicket will open that's your chance to fill out a ballot and enter through 95.5hitsfm.ca. So if you want to win these tickets, you got to listen. Listen to 95.5 Hits FM. And when you hear Taylor, get to our website, 95.5hitsfm.ca, and get those ballots in with our Summer of Fun Adventure Series. Coming up tomorrow, of course, Galaxy of Games returns. Another chance to qualify for Light the Night and $25 to McDonald's. Jimmy Hollywood will join us. Again, more movie talk because he'll have the latest films hitting theaters this weekend. And if you know someone selling Celebrating a birthday, be sure to share it with us. Get to our website, 955hitsfm.ca. We'll do birthdays and the celebrity birthday game just before 7. Thanks so much for listening and join us tomorrow for Mark and Charity Mornings.